Hi, this is Tudor Nick P, and this is prepositional phrase 10. The prepositional phrase today is at a loss for words. Okay, let's take a look at the note. Uh, if someone is at a loss for words, uh, he or she does not know what to say or how to respond to a particular situation. Uh, one is basically speechless. Okay, uh, let's continue. It is easy to see how this phrase was formed. If one is lost for something, it means they don't have it or cannot find it. So in the same sense, you can't find the words because there's something about the situation that has kind of made your mind blank. It has shocked you or it made you over emotional or something like that. And you just you just can't find any words. Your brain can't come up with some words. So you you will often say that you're at a loss for words. All right, let's continue. Uh, you can also use the phrase, words foul me, uh, in similar situations. Okay, let's continue. Uh, all right, let's look. We've got four examples here. Let's look at the different examples. Here's the first one. Uh, I cannot believe uh, what he said. It was, uh, I was too shocked. Uh, I was at a loss for words. So, of course, this in this case, you are shocked. And you're so shocked by what this person said that you just didn't know how to respond. So you could say you were at a loss for words in this situation. All right, number two here. Uh, I was at a loss for words to see the amount of people who donated money to help me out of my difficult situation. So this is actually a good reason. Sometimes, you know, something that touched your heart so much or touched you emotionally. And for that reason, maybe you can't think. And you could be at a loss for words in that sort of situation, too. All right, let's look at number three here. Uh, when he showed up for the interview wearing just his underwear, I was at a loss for words. <laughs> so here's another one where you're just completely shocked. Uh, maybe you just don't know what to say. Uh, it was a, too shocking and too unexpected a sort of a situation. All right, and number four here. Uh, the topic was just too stupid and boring. I couldn't think of any interesting questions to ask. Maybe that was your job. You were supposed to ask some interesting questions and there's just nothing about the topic that was interesting at all uh so i was at a loss for words it just means you know you just didn't have anything in your head you couldn't figure it out uh in this sense you can also say i was at a loss for words or again in all these situations you probably could have said words failed me too okay anyway i hope you got it I hope it was clear thank you for your time bye bye